check it out folks, the first snow of 2013. I mean the winter of 2013-14. My is it cold outside. Quite cold in fact. So cold that we're going to do a product review of a product that I don't even think exists anymore. The VCR Copilot. We have the VCR that's just begging to be co-piloted. Alright. So, I've got my uh, house all nice and warm and cozy and getting ready to uh, enjoy a nice I don't know, recorded movie or something. Who knows. Anyway, um, and some of these delicious peanut butter pretzel these things are delicious. And that's who makes them. So, oh. anyway, now here we go. You can understand anything I say. Good luck to you. Alright, we're going to cut this thing open. So, I think Okay. I think Billy Mays endorsed this product. This is one of those many, as seen on TV, spectacular products. Act now for $29.95 or $19.95 or whatever. And we'll send you whatever at no additional cost. Buy one for your friends. Buy them for your elderly parents who don't know how to do anything on their own. And it doesn't come with batteries. Are you kidding me? Alright. You mean, tell me, that for my $29.95, I, I didn't pay that, but if I did, I'd be pissed. Alright. I paid $3.99 at Sabres. That's what I paid for. It says it works with any VCR. For those of you who are not familiar with the VCR Copilot, the concept is quite simple. All you do is, what it really does is it sets, it, it, it actually sets the machine to record without having to navigate through difficult and unpleasant menus. Let's take a look at the menu system on my VCR. I have a 1990 RCA that uh, is identical to the VCR that my parents bought when I was five years old. And uh, it just so happens to be I, I needed a reliable VCR and I found that one in the trash and I kept it <laughs> and it still works. Um, go figure, right? It's a two head, two head uh, mono, no stereo sound, nothing fancy like that little basic VCR. It does a great job. I actually use it on, um, I use it to record shows that I won't be home to see, that won't be online anytime soon. So what I need to do now is switch my TV over to VCR. So how I have this hooked up, just so you know, because I do have Comcast cable with a, with a cable box. I have the, um, I have the standard definition uh, cable box, which has a composite video out as well as um, analog uh, coaxial out. The VCR is hooked up to the coaxial output, and the television is hooked up to the um, composite output. So what that means is I can have both devices connected at the same time, and I, no matter what channel that box is set to, the VCR will record it. So let's take a look at the menu system, and uh, this is what the VCR Copilot was intended to to rectify, to solve a problem that should never have been a problem in the first place. If I wanted to set my timer record on my VCR, I would have to open up the, the menu here. As you can clearly see, this is the menu. I hit the program button on my remote control. Oops, I'm going to hit the number one button. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. <laughs> I hit the normal program button, which is actually number two. Bing. I put in the pro the channel I want to record. 
and say 03 because everything is um, crap. Let's start this over. 30. Ah, whatever. 30. I enter the time on 1 o'clock or 10 o'clock p.m. and then I want it off at 11 o'clock p.m. Then it uh, it automatically puts in the date. I can change the date if I wish, or I can just hit program. It is now set to record whatever channel I'm uh, that box is set to when I'm home or not. So that wasn't terribly difficult, but apparently for some people it is. So they had to create a device that um, basically solves a problem that isn't a problem. Now we're going to go ahead and cancel that program. I'm going to hit the program button again. I'm going to do a program review, number five. And we're going to clear it by hitting the... I think there's a clear button here. There's a clear button on my remote control. Done. Now it's gone. So, apparently that's difficult. So let's turn the VCR off. I thought I cleared it. Let's go back. Turn it back on again. Do, 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 do. Okay, I guess they're proving my. They're, I'm proving their point already. Um, all right, where was I? Weekly program program review. To erase push clear. I did. What the? F oh wait a minute. It's not working. Five. I think my remote is screwed up because uh, there is all right. So it worked that time. Yep. Okay. And the timer light is not on. See. All right. Good. Now let's see how this works. I'm gonna grab some fresh batteries. All righty. I just put batteries in it. And this is what it does. <laughs> really? Billy Mays here. This product sucks. All right. You know, I've always uh, wondered about Billy Mays and the whole OxyClean thing. I'm wondering if the OxyClean was, in fact, cheap form of cocaine that he tried to create and market. Anyway, um, it doesn't work. I, what? Really? Um, now what do I do? Are you kidding me? Fresh out of the box. Mint in the box, as Spatch Bear would say. And you have got to be kidding me. Alright, what does it tell me to do? Let's look at the manual. I need a pen to set the time of day. But right now it's not doing a damn thing. It's just, it's not flashing or flickering or nothing of the sort. It's quite literally broken. I don't believe it. Um... Grab a pen. Maybe that might help the situation a little. Okay. Day. Day. All right. I don't believe it. Oh my god. All right. Let's try a new, a different set of. Well, from what I can tell, hmm. From what I can tell, oh, 
There we go. The percussion method of repair. Um, <laughs> that doesn't really let me... Um... <laughs> oh, oh, I broke it more. Percussive servicing. I think... I don't... Oh, oh, almost there. I just had the damn thing. Alright. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this stupid thing. Apparently it's QC passed, but then again it does say caution made in China. Gives. Couldn't be simpler in construction. Well, it could be, but then it might actually work. Danger made in China. I don't believe it. Brand new in the box. Brand new. Thinking, okay, if I buy anything from Savers that actually works, it'll have to be new in the box. I'm telling you, it's been slim pickings lately. Really slim pickings. I mean, to get anything of any value there is like, it's, I mean, I guess some people buy clothes there, but I don't. I go there to buy like weird electronic devices. Like, I bought a Mavica, kind of like buying a pig in the poke, or pig in a poke. Um, it didn't have the, um, there was no charger, no battery, or anything included. I thought I might have one at home, but I didn't. Uh, oh well. Okay. So... Yeah. It's really nothing... Ah, that's the problem. The LCD display. Okay, kids, here's a little bit of an engineering lesson for you. Um, <laughs> very, very cheap, inexpensively built electronic devices that use LCD displays. Um, to save manufacturing costs, they won't actually um, use like a flex cable to make the electrical contact between the display and the main board. In some cases, like with cheap calculators, cheap watches, they'll use a strip of silicone, like conductive silicone, and there it is right there, to transfer power to the, to the uh, segmented LCD display. The problem is, nine times out of ten, that little silicone strip will shrink or move or something will happen to it and that contact will break and that my friends is what happened to this VCR co-pilot it may have worked the day it was tested but it from sitting in the package being unused for so long this is what happens so what do we do about it um that's a freaking good question what I am going to do is attempt to resurrect that connection by cleaning it with alcohol. I'm going to remove the, uh, the little rubber strip here, and actually the whole display, I'll just take it out. And then we're going to try to rejuvenate it by cleaning the contacts on the board. Sometimes you can get lucky, and that will fix the problem. Um, if it doesn't fix it, I really don't care, but it would make for some interesting conversation. Um, now, here is the offending rubber strip, and uh, it's pretty well bonded to the display, so we're going to just put it back in there, and um, God, those peanut butter things are delicious. All right, we'll just put it back in, and we might be able to get it working again. 
We might not. Where is my... Okay, good. I need this. But generally, you find these types of connections in the cheapest of the cheapest of electronic devices. And, uh... Yeah, that's usually where I see them. So, it happens. It's life. You get what you pay for. Definitely rings true here. But I was really hoping to find an easier way to program my so complicated VCR so that I can watch my soaps or whatever the hell people do these days. Um, <clears throat> or the Explorer or whatever it is they, they do. Um, okay, so we're going to pop this in there. Try to pop this in there. Oh, screw you. Alright, I'm going to get some alcohol. Not for me. For It may be necessary, though, to figure out a way to shim the board or the display um, because that might actually fix it. Now, we're going to just uh, pop this back in there. Real high tech stuff, you know. Make sure you do it right. Lord knows the Chinese couldn't do it. Alright. No. In reality, it's really just an engineering problem. Whoever designed this device was expecting it to be a novelty that only five or six people will buy and throw away or give to their grandkids because they think their grandkids still use VCRs and they don't happen to be my grandparents who would be right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to just screw it back in and uh, hope for the best, right, right, right. You know, I got to I gotta hand it to him, though. I mean, the concept of the VCR Copilot, I never really dug into that um, yet in this video, but what it does is it lets you set your record start and stop time using dials, which are easier to manipulate than small remote control buttons. So if you're, you know, elderly or just have a hard time controlling your VCR's buttons, or you don't understand the programming protocol, then a device like this would be a lifesaver because it just makes programming or, or setting um, timers so much easier. The real problem with this is it only lets you set one event, not multiple. So if you have a recurring event, it'll certainly do it, but if you have multiple recurring events, well, forget it. The VCR Copilot is not for you. I mean, we've all seen the infomercials. You know, there's some gray-haired guy with a VCR, you know, struggling. And, of course, they make everything, even the mundane, the mundane tasks look difficult. That's their job. Um, <laughs> which is why there's so many products that you can buy off television these days. But, anyway. All right, so let's try this again. Snap it together. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. We cleaned all the contacts on the board off camera. Um, by we, I mean me. And we're going to put batteries in it and see what happens. Bada boom, bada bang. And guess what? Nothing. It doesn't work. So, <clears throat> VCR Copilot was a waste of money. Maybe if I hit it hard enough. Oh, there we go. At least now I get the, uh, here we, oh, it's coming to life. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And, oh, wait. It, uh, 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 I think I got it working. Today is Saturday. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one. came to life guys it came 
to life. Oh my God. All right. I'll shut up. So, okay, it works. Reliably. We'll put the final screw in there. Oh, shit. I dropped it. All right. Now it's dead again. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Um. <laughs> hey, it kept the time. Sweet. Now, how do we set this? So I want to start my record. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, uh. Now I gotta put the batteries back in and reset my VCR co-pilot. You know what's really funny and ironic? Um, <laughs> no, really, this is this is hilarious. Now, if you were to um, re-record the infomercial, it would start with a guy with the VCR co-pilot whacking it against his knee, trying to get it to come back to life, and then he gives up. And then you've got the guy with his remote control, where he just simply presses power and program. And let's see, we're going to do a normal program. Look at that. So freaking easy. And I, I'm done. I just press program again, or I just set my time. Let's see, we're going to do 0934. All right. 34 p.m. 1, 11, 23, 13, that's today. Hit program and program again. Turn the VCR off. And the timer event is now set. And then I press power on the VCR to turn it off. And now at 9.30, I set it to 9.35. I'm sorry, I had to do that over again. I didn't save the program, but... I'm done, and there it goes. It's now recording, a uh, apparently a football game. So, I got to laugh, because... Of course, you can't shut it off when it's programmed to run. I got to laugh. I mean, they, they, they come up with a device that's supposed to make that so much easier, but in fact, it's not. And I've wasted perfectly good money on a device that does not work. The VCR Co-Pilot, everybody. So once again, I'll run down the actual usage of this piece of junk. If it worked. I want to record, well, let's see, I'm probably a 70-year-old retiree, so I want to record golf um, on Sunday. That starts at uh, to uh, 1 o'clock a.m. and it ends at 12 o'clock p.m. right and that's it right and then I just angle it so that it's pointed at the VCR as shown and then I go fall asleep or have a heart attack or something and then I come back from the hospital and the device has turned the VCR on. actually all it really does is it presses the record button on the VCR by emulating the, re the remote control using the con remote control codes for that VCR. Okay? So all it does is that the VCR has to be turned on and set to the proper channel. It emulates the record bu button functionality and the stop functionality. So at 1 o'clock a.m., it essentially presses record. That's all it does. It couldn't be simpler. But it also could work, too. But, you know, details. Now, when, I, when it's done at 12 o'clock p.m., it just presses the stop button. That's what it does. So when I come back from the hospital from my fifth heart attack at a age of 70, I'm doing pretty well, huh? Um, my golf game will be recorded. 
So, that's it. <laughs> and, uh, and there we go. Piece of junk. And while we were screwing around with the VCR co-pilot, my VCR's built-in timer record function actually did its job and recorded that one minute of video that I so desperately needed. And now I'll turn my VCR back on and press rewind or play. There's my game. Look at that. I can rewind. I can play. And I can rewind again because I can. <laughs>